What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. John B's relationship with his dad will have a major influence on the continuation of the series. But will the poke split up? Let's get into the details regarding the plot for season 3. Just a fair warning, spoilers for season 2 of the series are ahead. After seeing our favorite characters go through many struggles, Outer Banks did it again. It left fans on a couple of cliffhangers, you know, just so we can all feel anxious until the premiere of the next installment. Thankfully, the creators have opened up about the plot of the future episodes, and we know plenty of details that will change everything for the protagonist in the third installment. So where did season 2 leave us? Well, the Pokes had lost their acquired goal across to Sarah's family, the Camerons. After going through every possible struggle you can imagine, they end up on an abandoned island. But what about Jombie's father? Well, apparently the dude is alive. We all thought he was dead, but no, he's very much alive, and we can't help but wonder if he and Jombie will go through some kind of reunion in the next installment. Luckily, the creators have decided to address this potential storyline with Josh Pate as one of the people we should all send thank you cards to for creating such a TV show, telling Entertainment Weekly that John B's relationship with his dad will play a huge theme in the next season. He further explained that having his dad back around him will eventually lead to reunion. Pate noted that John B has to reconcile his idealized version of his dead dad and the reality of his alive dad. When asked about the storyline, the writer Shannon Burke said it's going to be instrumental and maybe the spine of season 3, basically. Now, is there a chance for viewers to see the time jump? There's only one tiny bit of a problem the creators are facing when it comes to the plot for the next installment. You see, the actors who play the Pogues are much older than their characters. In order for the show to make sense, the time jump must happen in season 3. If it does, we'll probably see it at the beginning of the third season. Then again, in the final of season 2, the characters needed to solve many issues, so we might see them solving these issues before time jump occurs and they face a number of new challenges. Do you guys think a time jump would make this series better? Let us know before we get into details about Carla Limbry getting a bigger role. Viewers met Carla in the second installment of the series, and from the moment she appeared on the screen, we knew she was going to be a key character in the story. First of all, she knew too much about the royal merchant she had evidence that would acquit John B. But most importantly, she knew a lot about the Pope's history. If that wasn't enough, we then discovered that she was working for Big John and Ward in the past. But there's one storyline that viewers should expect to see in the third installment, and this storyline is about to change everything in the series. There are a lot of theories suggesting that prepare for this. Limbry's actually Sarah and Raph's mom. During the second season, fans hear Limbry say she has a long and tortured history with Ward. Do you guys think this is a reliable theory? Do you have some evidence that supports this theory even more? Let us know before we talk about some surprising revelations about Kiara and her parents. From treasure hunting to unforgettable love stories and some really amazing characters who are actually receiving a great character development each new season, Outer Banks has it all. But her favorite thing is the portrayal of family relationships. Most of these relationships are presented in a realistic way, and we truly love that part of the series. Kira's relationship with her parents is without a doubt one of the most captivating storylines in the show. So far, we've seen the Kiaras worrying about their daughter's safety, and we completely understand it. We also understand their anti-Pogue view. Kiara faced a lot of issues because her father was a Pogue. The end of season 2 left the family's future uncertain. And according to some of the viewers, the characters will finally get on good terms with their family in the third installment. Do you guys think this could happen? Is their family ready to get over it? But what about Kiara and JJ? Go live like a freaking Pogue! Get your butt out of my house! John B, Pope, and JJ were all interested in Kiara at some point during the series, but since they are all members of the Pogues, they made a pact to never flirt with the Pogue. At one point, JJ even said that he tried flirting with her, but said she wasn't interested. And then in season 2, Kiara started a relationship with Pope, and since they both realized they are better off as friends, viewers believe the creators will finally bring JJ and Kiara together. This theory is pretty reliable because a lot of fans have been shipping the couple for a long time. Are you one of them? Do you wish Kira to end up with someone else? Let us know before we get into a darker theory. A theory that suggests the Pogues will go separate ways. Kira. Hey. 
John Bemis' friends have been through so much as Pogues, it's even been a long time since they started going after the possibility of making Kook money. Because of how long it's been, we might see the Pogues go separate ways in the next installment. Rudy told to Fab that there are so many things that the Pogues want. They want to live comfortably. I think there's going to be a disagreement of how far we want to go with this, how far we want to risk our lives for something that almost killed all of us. Basically, we're about to see the wildest season of the show and we really hope that Outer Banks will go beyond its third season. Do you? We do know that John B's dad is alive and the fan favorite group got stranded on a deserted island. So what are they going to do to get out of it? Stokes asked during a May 2022 interview with Elle. God knows, but I can definitely say it's gonna be an exciting season. It'll be so fun. But are there any new cast additions? He wrote to me about the shroud. I know where it is. Yes, and they are also talented and handsome. Per a report by Deadline, Andy McQueen, known for Mrs. Davis, Station Eleven, Fiona Palomo, known for Control Z, and Lou Fiergo Jr., known as SWAT, Stargirl, will join the Outer Banks cast. Deadline is also revealing their roles, and they all sound really promising. McQueen will play Carlos Singh, a Caribbean Don, who is a smart, sophisticated, and brutal at times, and is out on a trip treasure hunt of his own. Paloma will play Sophia, who identifies as a pogue but secretly dreams to be part of the country club crowd. We'll also know that Sophia will form a close connection with Rav, played by Drew Starkey. Virgo will play Ryan. Ryan is, according to Deadline, calm and collected but young and hungry. He is Singh's top security officer and enforcer. Anyways, one thing fans want to see the most is a real wedding. You know what I was thinking? What's that? Let's get married. The thing we're all dying to see, a real wedding for Sarah and John B. These characters deserve a real wedding and fans are clearly convinced that season 3 will give them a proper happily ever after. Madeline Klein talked about her character's future, Sarah, telling E! News in May 2022 that she believes there are a lot of things Sarah needs to resolve. A lot of resolve and emotions towards her family. We haven't seen her stand on her own two feet with her family for the last seasons, so we're finally seeing that. The wedding part will happen if you smell smash that subscribe button and notification bell. No, seriously, do it so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Now back to Sarah's involvement in the series, Klein also said that the upcoming installment will experiment with different dynamics and storylines that they haven't had a chance to do yet. See you in the next video.